I'm going to make a duplicate of this, but if you don't see the layer panels, so you can go to Windows and enable it. So I'll just drag and drop to the plus icon to create a new copy. So I can turn off this and unlock the one on top. And I'm going to go to select and choose subject. So I want to remove the background first. And I'll just click on mask icon to remove the background. So I'm going to right click and convert to the smart object. I want it to be one layer. So if I turn up the one below, so I'm going to apply a gradient map. I want it like in black and white. So make sure uh, black is on the left side and uh, white is on the right hand side. You click OK. And you don't have to forget, you have to clip mask this to the current image. So just click on the icon to use the clip mask. So you go back and um, you, you convert this to the smart object. So just select both of them, right click and convert them to the smart object. Now I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to apply a Gaussian bra. So you choose bra then Gaussian bra. So let me go with 10. 10 is okay. And the next thing I'm going just to turn off the one on the blue and I'm going to save this as like a PSD. I'm going to use this as a map or a text map. So I'm going to name it text map like so. And I can now get rid of the Gaussian bra effect. You just right click on the effect and then you delete. So I can turn this back on and I'm going to put my text. So just go to the main panel and choose T to get the type tool. Then to get the default text, just click hold and drag, then release automatically. That's the, the default text that Photoshop will give you. So you can just click, you can hold, hold control A and C, then control V several times to make a duplicate of that text to cover the whole artboard. So the next step, you are going to adjust the space. So you, if you don't see character, you go to window, tab and choose character to activate it. So 25, 25 and that is fine. So the next step, so let me first pick my move tool and I'll go to layers and I'm going to convert the text to a smart object. So I will go to filter and this time around, I'm going to pick this dot and choose this place. So I'll go with 20, 20, 20 pixels, 20 pixels and switch to fit and then click OK. So I'm going just to pick my text map and click open. Yeah, so it is coming. So the next step, so what we are going to do, um, we are going to put the gradient map one on top of that one and I'm going to right click and choose create a clip mask. So after creating a clip mask, so I want to get rid of these excess words around our image. So I'll just hold the control, then click once on the layer to have a selection. Then I'll just click on the type text and click on the layer mask icon to remove the excess. So I want also to remove maybe to get rid of this text on the shirt so that our text is only on the face or on the body of the person I'm working on. So what we are going to do is make sure you are on the layer mask. You go and pick the brush. So you have to make sure black is the current fill color on the brush to delete those or to get rid of those words. So make sure you can adjust flow. You can see flow on top it is 31% and even the hardness you can take it to 100 to make it as sharp as possible. So I can get rid of this and that's it guys. So if you have enjoyed my tutorial 
um, you can click the like button and please don't forget you can subscribe also to see more of this. Peace.